Pete's finally got his state visit, but a warm welcome might be too much to expect. As President Trump's helicopter arrived at Buckingham Palace, the crowds had gathered and the protesters were getting ready. Trump's getting the full honours, including lunch with the head of state, Queen Elizabeth, and other members of the royal family. The original offer of a state visit at the behest of Prime Minister Theresa May came soon after Donald Trump took office. But now she's on her way out. He's already broken protocol by backing former Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson to replace her. And as Trump arrived, he used social media to call London's elected mayor, Sadiq Khan, a stone-cold loser after Khan accused him of being part of a global far-right threat. There's no doubting the amount of interest this visit is causing among visitors to the British capital. But during his visit, President Trump will be travelling at least part of the time by road. That's when he might get an idea of how unpopular he is among some of the British public. When President Trump visited the UK last year, he was met with large protests and the infamous baby balloon. He can expect more of the same on Tuesday when he goes to Downing Street. And who knows, he might actually enjoy it. President Trump basically uses the protesters and the statements of people who are leading those protests uh, in a way to galvanize his support back home. His view is, you see, I, when I stand up for America, people are always going to uh, oppose us. We're under siege. I'm the only one who really fights for this country and I'm trying to fight for you, for your jobs and so on. Trump's met Prince Charles and his wife Camilla amid speculation the heir to the throne might try to convince the president to take the climate crisis seriously. He's also met Charles' son Prince Harry, but not his American wife Meghan Markle, whom he's also criticised via Twitter. Meanwhile, the leaders of two opposition parties and the Speaker of the House of Commons are boycotting Monday's state banquet at Buckingham Palace. Of course, the so-called special relationship, whether it's trade, security or diplomacy, doesn't depend on the president being popular. But this is no ordinary presidency, so expect more controversy throughout the week. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera, London.